where the parts is? Yeah. 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 She she refused to give uh, white man her seat on the bus. Um, did you know there was somebody before for the parts? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cold at COVID, nine months earlier, she did the same thing in the same city and she was only 15 years old. There's many people who names we don't know who fought to keep, to get civil rights for everybody. No, I didn't, I didn't even know about COVID. Before Rosa Parks, there was Claude and COVID. I knew then and I knew now that when it comes to justice, there is no easy way to get it. You can't sugarcoat it. You have to take a stand and say, this is not right. And I did. Claudette Co Colvin. Colvin was the first African-American woman to refuse to move back to the back of the bus nine months before Rose Parks did but the NAACP did not want to use her to resent their organization become she was because she was 15 years old. Uh, now that you know, know a, a bit about Claudette Colvin, here are some quotes that she made. I knew then and I know now when it comes to justice, there was no easy way to get it. We all know who Rosa Parks is. She didn't give up her seat for a white man. Nine months before, uh, Cordette Colvin what, did the same thing as the Rosa Parks. On March the second, 1955, 15 year old, 15 year old Claudette refused to give up her seat on the bus for for the white women. She was sent to jail and she was pregnant while in jail. I think it's interesting that Rosa Parks wasn't the first one who who didn't want to give up her seat to a white woman or a white man and refused to go to jail for it. A lot of people fought to change the world. Okay. Here's one of her most famous quotes. I always tell young people to hold on to their dreams and sometimes you have to stand up for what you think is right, even if you have to stand alone. Back then I kept thinking, why don't the adults around here just say something? Yeah. <laughs>